a couple of examples on how the regular expressions uh, are working. So any single character, any single regular character in a regular expression uh, is m trying to match that single character. So in these examples I'll just show you a regex here between the slashes and the string and then we'll see which one matches. So this should match only the strings that have x in it, an x. So a, b, c, d, e, this doesn't have an x, this does here. This has at the beginning, this has a, even two, but that doesn't really matter, we just care about matching or not matching. So this regular expression would match the three last three and wouldn't match the first one. That's the most simple thing. Then what happens if you would like to make sure that that x actually appears at the beginning of the string? For that, the regular expressions have a special character, a caret, that if you put it in the beginning of the regular expression, like this, so you have the at the beginning there is a caret and an x, it means that the x has to match at the beginning of the string. So this one doesn't have an x, that's not an issue. This has an x, but it's not at the beginning, so this doesn't match either. This string matches, because from the beginning there is an x, and then the rest doesn't matter for us. This one, this one doesn't match, because the first character is not an x, it's a space, and spaces are characters, regular characters as well, so we are just caring about regular characters. So this doesn't match either. And here this one, obviously this doesn't match either, even though some people might feel a little strange with it, but the carrot, if you want to match a carrot, you'll have to escape it uh, here. You have to put a backslash at the beginning. So this doesn't match either. So the only string that will match here is this one. Now let's go on. If you put on put in several characters after one after the other, the regular expression engine will try to match that ABC in this case in somewhere in the string. So this is the regular expression. If you are looking this string, this will match at the beginning. Here too, at the beginning you see ABC, that will match. In this one, well there's A B but there's no C after C. This doesn't match. But then the regular expression goes on and here it will find ABC. So this string matches again. The fact that there are parts that don't match doesn't mean that there can't be a part that does. And that's a general case. It just makes a bit feel strange that part there's a partial match. But then the question is if there is a full match or not. Then this one here has again ABC and this one well, it doesn't have an A and a B immediately afterwards. There is a space, and spaces have meaning in uh, regular expressions. They are just regular characters. So that's how you match several characters uh, one after the other. And then you can use the same thing as earlier. You can put a caret and immediately afterwards A, B, C. And this just means that from the beginning there should be, at the beginning there should be an A, immediately followed by a b, immediately followed by a c. So this string a, b, c, d, e will match. This string in this case won't match. Well, there's no a, b, c at all. But even if, if even this one, if you go back here, this wouldn't match, right? Because it doesn't start with a, b, c. There is an a, b, c, but we don't care. We, we care about only the beginning. And this again doesn't match. 